So kinetic energy is the energy stored in moving objects. Now I've got two balls here, I've got uh, one which is a golf ball and also a ping pong ball. Now if these two things were moving along at the same speed, the heavier object would have a greater store of kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy depends on the mass of the object, you know, how heavy it is. The other thing it depends on is how quickly it's going. So for example, I've got over here a bullet and I've also got a tennis ball. Now this is much more massive, uh, but if you were hit by either of these, this one would do a lot more damage because it stores more kinetic energy. So even though the mass is a lot smaller, because it's going so much faster, that has a big impact on the kinetic energy. In fact, when we're looking at the speed of an object, it's not just how quickly it's going, but it's the square of how quickly it's going that's really important. So to calculate the kinetic energy stored in an object, it's equal to a half times the mass times the speed squared. And you need to make sure that it's only the speed that you square. You don't uh, do a half times mass times speed and then square everything. Now, in terms of representing this, we can use EK to represent the energy in the kinetic store. And that's equal to a half MV squared, where again, we use V to represent speed. When it comes to units, uh, we always measure energy in joules, which is capital J. Uh, the mass is measured in kilograms, so if you're given something in grams, you need to convert it into this standard unit. And again, we measure our speed or our velocity in meters per second. So always convert any units in your question into these standard units, and then the rest of everything you're going to be doing will make sense. So I've got a couple of examples below just showing how you can work out the kinetic energy of an object, or if you know the kinetic energy, how you can actually work out how quickly that object's going.